What is up everyone? Watering Grass here and get aboard the hype train because we have some amazing tins to open up. We got the 2007 Pokemon Collectors Holiday Tins and we got a full case of them. That's right. These are obviously we got Torterra, you know, we got Turtwig, we got we got the Sinnoh region representing right now since this is Gen 4 opening. Palkia, and we got a little baby Turtwig up here too. Check this out. Check out this case. We got the Torterra level X tin. We got the Infernape level X tin. And we got the Empoleon level X tin. Now, I seriously thought I was going to keep this sealed. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's definitely not going to happen. Let me show you this awesome, awesome case. I really wish Pokemon would continue to do this. Instead of just throwing them in boxes and then having them put them on shelves, look at Empoleon on the back. You know, then you got the little display back there. You got Torterra on the side. So I'm super stoked just to have this cardboard. Yeah, I don't give a crap if that makes me weird. But <laughs> we got some really awesome stuff. I am super stoked to get this open. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I want to get that background in there with, 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 with Empoleon and Infernape and Torterra back there. There we go. There we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. We're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because that's how I want to do it. So we're going to start off opening an Empoleon level X tin. All right, let's just get it over with. I really, I honestly thought I was never going to open these tins. I thought I was going to buy the case, keep it sealed. It got here. I got super hyped. And I was like, you know what? I got to open these damn tins. <laughs> Look how beautiful, beautiful this tin is. Oh my god, look at that blue. Oh, Torterra on the side. We all know Torterra is the love of my life. Infernape, shout out to my boy, 801 Infernape. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's, let's read some old 2007, 2007 TCG flavor text right here. What could make this specially designed Pokemon trading card game Diamond and Pearl Collectors tin even better for players and collectors alike? How about one of three exciting Diamond and Pearl cards that we will add real power to Pokemon TCG collection? Collect them, trade them, train them, but don't miss them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So it says what you got in the tin. You got four Pokemon TCG packs, two Diamond and Pearl base, and two Diamond and Pearl Mysterious Treasures. So, you know, we got level X's going. We got um, Infernape, Empoleon, and Torterra, and Diamond and Pearl base. And then I think Magmortar, and Electivire, and Mysterious Treasures, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the only two. And then there's also Time Space Distortion in Mysterious Treasures, I believe. So without further ado, let's just get this beautiful tin open. Oh god, Diamond and Pearl is my favorite, favorite set. Let's let's get this out without damaging it. Keep it mint. Just pull, just pull. Get it ever so gently, and then pop it out. Just like that, and the card remains mint 99% of the time. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Empoleon level X promo. Mint condition. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. See, told you, told you, told you. Let's leave this bad boy up right away. Oh god, oh god, I can't, I can't even like breathe right now. I'm so excited. Now, Diamond and Pearl, in my opinion, has the best hollows. The Diamond and Pearl series through Platinum has the best hollows ever in any Pokemon TCG set ever. So I am super stoked. Look at that! Look at that powerful black plastic. Even the plastic is more powerful than today's tins. Let's put these this nice and nice, nice and poly on tin in the back. And then we got four beautiful packs to open up. Look at this! Look at this! Look at the power on these pack arts. We got a Lucario, an Electivire, a Garchomp. And a Magmortar. That is absolutely crazy. Let's go. Let's go, you know. I'll go back and forth between Diamond and Pearl Base and Diamond and Pearl Mysterious Treasures. And we'll start off with a Mega Lucario. Not Mega Lucario. A Lucario pack. This is before Lucario went Mega. So get that open nice and crisp because I'm going to save all these pack arts because I'm weird. And the trick is still 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. But there is no... There is no, um, no code cards. We got a Wurmple... Now, the artwork in these sets are incredibly underrated, in my opinion, as well. Look at that chat out. Chat out, of course, is energy. A Dusko, energy search, rapid ash, grotto, oh yeah. <laughs> energy restore, reverse is a glam meow. There you go, you guys haven't seen that reverse in quite some time. And the rare itself is a wah, my fat, just taking a nap. Even the rare, look at that. That's awesome. That's definitely awesome. Next up. Let's go for... Let's go for the Garchomp pack and leave the Brothers Electivire and Magmortar for last. 
the, this mysterious treasures pack. It'd be pretty sweet to pull the time space distortion. I guess that's the one card we could say we're searching for. But, you know, of course I'm searching for um, Torterra level X. <laughs> Duh. Check, speaking, speaking of power, check out this Bidoof right here. This is when the uh, Pokemon actually held berries and all that fun stuff. Look at Bidoof. Look at Bidoof. A Pichu. Execute. Remoraid. Totodile. Shout out to UK Poke Power. Dugong. Goodbye. Night Maintenance. Reverse is a Crocknaw. Very, very, very cool looking card. Look, look at it. It reminds me of the Feraligator from Expedition. Where they're like kind of underwater. And the rare itself is a Slacking Rare. Very, very awesome rare to pull. Slacking looks powerful in that. Next up, we got, um, let's continue on with Diamond and Pearl Base with an Electivire pack. Check out this pack art, guys. Oh, it's so cool. These tins are pretty hard to come by these days, so I may be stupid, though. You know, we're opening them up, but in the same breath, I can't keep these bad boys sealed. I cannot keep these bad boys sealed. We start things off with a Meditite with Meditate. <laughs> then we have a Magnemite. Clefairy, there we go. Piplup. Sneasel, Super Scoop Up, not even bad to do. Seeking, look at that artwork. A Reverse Unknown G, which is an uncommon. Thought it was a rare for a minute. Oh, there's also one less, there's, a, there's only, uh, hold on, there's, there's still 10. I thought there were nine cards in here for some reason. And the rare itself, oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my, this is why I said Diamond and Pearl has, Diamond and Pearl series packs like Mysterious Treasure, Secret Wonders, Diamond and Pearl Base Set, all that fun stuff, have the best hollows in any Pokemon TCG set ever. Check out this freaking Luxray. Oh my goodness. That is a powerful, powerful card. And you know what, Luxray? You deserve a sleeve. Oh my god, Luxray Hollow. Luxray obviously being one of my favorite Pokemon. Look, it, it sparkles throughout the card. Let me see if I can get better lighting over here so you guys can see the sparkle throughout the entire card itself. Get it to focus. There we go. And right over there, there you go. You see it through the whole card, the card sparkles. So that is an awesome, awesome pull right there. That beautiful Luxray Hollow, that alone makes the tin worth it. And then we have a Magmortar pack. So I am taking my time with these packs, I guess, with these tins. We're already at seven minutes, but you know what? Completely worth it. Completely worth it. Let's see what we got here. We got a Remoraid. Like I said, we're going to do two more uh, packs for this part. Remoraid. A Totodile. Era. Look at that little Quay Aeron. Chansey. With, with Scrunch, you know. A uh, Krogunk. With a ghastly sound. Just makes a ghastly sound. Lake Boundary. That's an awesome card. Look at that Vigoroth. Oh. Oh, even the Golbat. That's awesome. Bronzor Reverse. And... A Rampardos regular rare. Not even a bad regular rare to pull. That was an awesome tin in my opinion. Obviously we didn't pull no level X's, but you're hard pressed to pull level X's from the early Diamond and Pearl sets up until like Secret Wonders, but that Luxray Hollow makes everything worth it. Um, I'm gonna cut the video right here. And because you know, 10 minutes HD, all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna get right into the Infernape. Uh, right into the Infernape tin, you guys won't even notice. And we're back with the Infernape tin. Let's get this bad boy opened. My camera only records in 1080p HD for 10 minutes for whatever reason. I don't know. I might get a new camera soon anyway. But um, this camera, it's, it's a really, really good camera. Um, I just, I just want to have to have the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's the Infernape tin. Looks just as powerful as that Empoleon tin right there. And of course, you know, same deal. Torterra, Infernape, Empoleon, all that fun stuff. And then the same stuff on the back. So let's get it open. Let's get this promo out nice and safely. There we go. Pop it right out. Get it right into a sleeve. Let me show you guys first. Check that out. That is amazing. Level X is, in my opinion, though they're not worth the much, you know, that much. They're some of the best ultra rares ever created in uh in Pokemon TCG. And I'm not just saying this because I'm obsessed with Sinnoh. We know I we know I'm obsessed with Gen 4, but look at the look at the quality. The quality. <laughs> Let's get this going. Put that back together. Bernie fell down. That's alright, that's alright. That's why we sleeve them up. So no damage, no damage. And we got four more packs, and look, we got two different pack arts. Check this out. We got a Toxicroak 
from Mysterious Treasures. Look at this Toxico just jumping out the swamp, ready to poison jab you in the butt, and then Palkia. What can I say about Palkia? Palkia, Palkia he's, he's the space god. So let's open up uh, the ones that we've already seen first, and then we'll open up the second pack arts first. Let's open up Mysterious Treasures first, since we open up Diamond and Pearl base first, the uh, and the Empoleantin. Start off with a Garchomp pack. Ugh. Such cool cards. One, two, three. One, two. We got a Snowvert with Snowball Fight and Curiosity. Curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. Electric, Barboach, Apom, Magby, Girafferig, Chingling, and Octillery. Look at that Octillery artwork. Oh, it's awesome. A Pupitar. There is a Tyranitar hollow in here that looks amazing. And the rare itself is a Crobat. I actually have pretty good memories with this Crobat. It's actually one of the first rares that I pulled from a Diamond and Pearl. Uh, any Diamond and Pearl pack. From Mysterious Treasures especially. So That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Next up. We got the Lucario pack, and these packs have not seen any sort of light, okay? And, uh, oh, that, that card's a little damaged. See that? You see that? It's bent at the corners, but that's fine, that's fine. It's just, a, it's just, an, it's just an uncommon. But uh, these cards have not seen any light, okay, in seven years. So, speaking of light, let me shine some light on this Bidoof right here. Check out that Bidoof. <laughs> Ponyta, Bonsley, a Stunky, Combi, Professor Rowan, Badoo. Unknown G, that's the damage card, so that's fine. An Elekid Reverse, that looks awesome. Even the Elekid, look at that. Look at that, the standing over there, so imposing little plug man. And the rare itself, hey, look at that. We got a Bee Barrel. I don't know why they continue to make Bee Barrel a rare. So let's open up these packs next. We're going to do Toxicroak first. But still, Bee Barrel's a cool Pokemon. He's actually pretty powerful if you set up some curses. So, I mean, you don't make fun of Bee Barrel. Don't do it. You never know. What to expect coming from a bee barrel. Start this pack off with a Barboach. An Apom. Very, 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 very similar. Abra. Cricketot. Sand Slash. A Kulava. A Bebe Search. A Bebe. A Nidoran female. Nice and basic. Really cool though. And the rare is an Ariados with offensive needle. And sticky. So he had sticky web before sticky was cool. Hipster Ariados. And last but not least, we have a Palkia pack from Diamond and Pearl Base. Let's hope for a hollow out of this. Like I said, you are incredibly hard pressed to pull any sort of ultra rares from uh, Diamond and Pearl series beginning in at least at least, at least the uh, like beginning sets like uh, like Diamond and Pearl Base. Like, Mime Jr., not even bad. Shout out to Pokemon Excavation. But um, like Diamond and Pearl Base and um, Mysterious Treasures, Secret Wonders, those three are probably the hardest to pull any Ultra Rares from. Plus Power, Reverse is a Wormpole, and the Rare is a Carnivide. So no Hollows from the Infernape Dim, but that's quite okay. We still got that awesome Infernape promo, and some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Rares. And now we are going into the Big Kahuna himself, Torterra. Oh my god, you know, that's my signature poke. You think of Water and Grass, you better be thinking of Torterra, because Torterra is my muse. I love Torterra. Terra is my favorite Pokemon by far. So very happy to be getting a few more of these promos. I do have plenty of these Torterra promos as it is. But happy to get more, always. Always. Check that out. Ugh. This definitely looks the best out of all of them. Look at that. Look at that. Forest Murmurs and Vigorous Dash. It's just coming to crush you. Like ready to fire off a seed bomb or something, getting ready. Torterra is such power. It's so cool. Put you in a nice little sleeve, and then put you over here in front of Infernape. Sorry, Infernape. And put the case back together. And then, you know, we got six more tins to open up, so I'm pretty damn stoked about this. Um, see what else we got. And there we go. Four more packs. Let's open up the Mysterious Treasures first, and then we'll open up Diamond and Pearl Base, because I do really want to pull uh, Torterra Level X again. Oh, that pack kind of went. Went awry. That's fine. We'll fix it. Two, three, one, two. All right, and we'll start this pack off with an Aeron. Very nice Aeron. A Chansey again. Krogunk. Snow Run. Shout out to Shiny Hunter Zack. What up, Shiny Hunter Zack? TCG. Bayleaf. Spelled B A E L E E F. Del Trio. Lake Boundary. An awesome card. Dugong, which is not a rare in this set. It is a rare in one of the Diamond Pearl sets, I believe. 
but not in this one. And the rare itself is a Toxicroak. <laughs> so we had we saw Toxicroak on the um, back art on one of them, and there he is. And now we just put him as a rare. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You don't see a Toxicroak level X. I'm not sure if you see a Toxicroak level X actually. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I don't think you do. Like if if my memory serves me correctly, I gotta look that up. But we have a Surskit, a Bronzor. That cute little Pichu. Bidoof. That's one of the best Bidoof artworks. I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at him. He's just coming out of bushes. That's so cool. Snow Run again. Quilava. Fossil Excavator. Very, very nice. Look at Turtwig back there. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, look, I found something shiny. <laughs> A Shield On reverses an armor fossil to go with that little Shield On that we pulled. And the rare itself is. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that power right there. Magmortar about to fire off some lava plumes, some fire blasts. It's about to wreck your life. So we're going on almost 20 minutes for three tins. You know what? I hope you guys are enjoying it anyway, because, you know, it's not too often you're going to see these tins opened anymore. I'm definitely enjoying it. And here's the last two parts for this pack. This, uh, this is the last two packs for this part anyway. An Electivire pack from Diamond and Pearl base set. One, two, three. One, two. And we'll start this pack off with a Buneary. Nice, powerful splash attack. Goldeen to go with that Seeking art. It looks so amazing. Miss Drivis. Machop. Clefairy. Drifloon. Rhydon. Look at that Rhydon. Oh, it's so nostalgic. Energy switch. Switching some energy over to Chimchar. He reverses a Munchlax, which is a rare. So there we go, our first reverse rare. Very nice little Munchlax right there. And the rare is a Steelix, which is a normal rare, but it looks so powerful. That is awesome right there. And last but not least, we have a Lucario pack from Diamond and Pearl Base. Already satisfied with this, Tim. We got that powerful, powerful, powerful Magmortar back there. So, you know, Torterra, you're doing me well. You're doing me well, brah. Start this pack off with a Bonsly. Bonsly's always crying. Don't you know you're weak to water, Bonsly? Stunky, <laughs> Combi, Bidoof, Chimchar, a Pokeball, Rapidash, Grottle, there we go. A Reverse Warp Point, that is awesome. This is the, uh, kind of like Escape Rope. It is basically Escape Rope, so <laughs> that would've been cool. And the rare itself is a Vespiquin. Normal rare, but check that out. Check that artwork out. So. Pretty sweet part, obviously. We're taking a trip down memory lane, though. We got two incredible hollows in this Luxray and this Magmortar right here. Luxray from Diamond and Pearl Base and Magmortar from Mysterious Treasures. And of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, we got these. These three level X Probos, Torterra, Infernape, and Empoleon. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. The other parts will be faster, I promise. Just want to take my time with this first part. And uh, let's get this video up to 150 likes for some old school awesomeness. I'd really, really appreciate that. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great night. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. This is Water and Grass, and I am out. Later. Peace.